Hello there. I am uh, installing Ubuntu 9.04 on Virtual PC, and uh, this is the second part of the video. I've gotten an error message that says that it doesn't have Virtual Machine Editions. We know that. That's just the way it is. I'm going to click OK. So I've come to the point where it asks me for to name the machine. So we're going to enter the name of LAMP Server, and uh, it's going to set the clock and synchronize. I am currently in the central time zone and it's going to do some more hardware detection and the next screen should be determining the hard drive selection. Yep, it's running through partitioner. So uh, we're going to either use the entire disk, use the entire disk and use LVM, logical volume manager, or use the entire disk and set up encrypted logical volume manager. I'm going to choose to use the entire disk. Logical volume manager will mean that Ubuntu does some of the managing of partitions for me, but I'm old school. I Well, we'll just go with the LVM. That's fine. That's the default. We could have chosen manual back there, but I don't care to choose manual. Let me scroll over. Oh, it wants me to choose my uh, hard drive at this screen. So I just hit enter because I've only got the one hard drive. And, uh, now this is going to default to no. You can see that no over there is highlighted because this is the danger mode. Uh, it's basically saying do you want to erase your whole, whole hard drive and I say yes. Go ahead and clear it off and start with Ubuntu. Uh, you'll note that it shows on the screen 33 gigabytes in size. When I made that virtual disk Ubuntu actually does think it's 33 gigabytes in size, even though the size of this file will wind up being uh, about 3 gigabytes in size clean. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go with that. Let me hit enter. And it's partitioning. The uh, screen's a little funny because I'm having to use such a low resolution to record this video. So it's going to default again to no because it's asking me about uh, partitioning and it wants to know, yeah, go ahead and write changes to the disk. So I have to go over, hit the left arrow to go over to yes, and make the changes. So now it's working on hardware, working on partitioning. And uh, like I said, the file is going to wind up being less than three gigabytes in size. I transfer this machine to other people all the time. I ask them, do you just have a 4 gigabyte flash drive? I'll give you a LAMP server. It makes a good practice server for people to use. To uh, use to practice their web design on. To get the feel of a real server. I use it at home all the time. When people need to get files that are too large for me to email them, I give them my, my IP address. Actually, I give them a DNS that points to my home IP address and tell them to come download the files. So, uh, it's downloading the packages that it needs. So, I'm going to pause the video here, and we're going to wait uh, until it finishes getting its packages, and then I'll pick it up from there. Okay, so now we're at the screen where it asks for a uh, user. So, I'm going to put a user in here. Techno username for my account. So that's my name. Need to make a password. I'm just going to choose logical. So technological. Uh, we get to choose whether or not we want to encrypt our home directory. I'm Eh, this is not going to be an important machine. I don't care about encryption. And then it's going to configure this. So uh, if we use HTTP, then I got to put that in there. We don't use HTTP here, so at least I don't. Not yet. And then it's going to configure getting uh, scanning the mirror. It's one more option than I did on Virtual PC that you need to be aware aware of is um, file and then options and performance options. By default, uh, Virtual PC is going to allocate more time to the CPU 
to CPU time to the machine in the active window, always give all virtual machines equal CPU time and run virtual PC at maximum speed. You may wind up with timing errors on your uh, Linux. I've had it when I'm working in two or three virtual machines at once and uh, I send one off to do a task and come back and the one that um, that I haven't been working on hasn't made a move and that options why. So I get to choose whether or not I want automatic updates so I will install updates automatically landscape so I can manage all my servers remotely but it's a fee service so I just go with updates automatically you can also choose no automatic updates so this will uh, this will take a minute and uh, I'm gonna pause the video here again okay